So I'm rebuilding an Orion XT8, the classic Dobsonian. Uh, the mount has been completely taken apart. Uh, all the mud was taken off. I guess there was some water damage. Um, the bolts, new new cabinet bolts have been put in with uh, gloss paint on them. Um, here's the tube. It's been totally taken apart and cleaned and demudded. Everything's been taken off and put back on. Um, rusty bolts have all been replaced and or cleaned with CLR and replaced. And now it's time to reassemble the Crayford focuser. Um, a couple of notes. Um, I ended up, this is the this is the focuser tube. I actually ended up painting the end of this uh, with a super flat uh, matte black. And um, the this is the focuser wheel. The, the, the black knurled ends had, I guess, had fallen off. Um, it had not been maintained very well um, just t just over time so uh, I got a, a tip from cloudy nights on the forums where they said basically just put o-rings on it and that worked out really well there's a silicon uh, o-rings that are on here so um, here are all the bolts and screws this one uh, was not part of it uh, these are all the screws that go into reassembling it and um, I've either refurbished them and repainted them with gloss black or I had to get a couple of new ones. Uh, but the way the Crayford Focuser works is pretty slick. You have this part with four roller bearings, and this is the Focuser tube, right? And it just rolls on those bearings, right? And it's driven by this guy, which is just pushed against there. So when you rotate this, uh, it drives this up and down. So it's actually pretty simple. Uh, my understanding is it was actually invented by a member of the Crayford England Astronomical Society. So I guess that's where the name comes from. Um, and then here's the, the back plate that tightens everything. It's got a little Teflon bearing um, that you can adjust with a set screw right in the middle there. So I'm gonna go ahead and start assembling. Okay, step one was I put the bearing plate in there. Okay, you can see it right there. It's got the four bearings that are installed. Um, that was just, it's held in by these two Allen screws, one there and one there. Uh, those have been uh, CLR'd to get the rust off, and then I gloss painted them, gloss black enamel. All right, all right. Next step is I'm probably going to put this in the base. Uh, there are some set screws, and based on another Crayford that I have, I'm going to I'm going to use a spacer of two business cards to keep that offset. Uh, we'll start with that. All right, now that uh, the plate is on, with about two business card thickness gap there. Um, the next thing to do is put the focuser tube in there, right? And then put this in. And when that's in, I'll put the back plate on. Like that. I just want to show you how this works. So here is the focuser tube. It's riding on those bearings. It's super smooth. You put this right there, and just the, just the friction of that roller Right? And it's kind of rough now because I don't have the plate on it, but just spinning that causes the focuser to go in and out. It's pretty slick. But that's how the Crayford focuser works. Alright, so we're going to put the back plate on. And we'll just put these four screws in. And there it is. Finished Crayford focuser. Pretty slick mechanism.